What's going on guys? Yesterday we posted some unofficial image leaks of these two cameras, but today I want to go over some key features that Nikon has blessed us with with these two mirrorless cameras and what they say about the new upcoming A7S 3 Stay tuned. Flashville Media presents What You Need to Know. What's going on guys, Ty Turner here and I wanna go over some of the specs that's been announced this morning and most importantly, the video side of things. However, let's start with photography. The Z7 is a 45.7 megapixel camera. Um, it has 493 focus points and it shoots nine frames per second. The Z6 is a 24.5 megapixel, 273 focus point, 12 frames per second camera. The most important things about, about both cameras, in my opinion, is the fact that they're able to output 10-bit 4K VN HDMI port. That has not been seen on a DSLR or mirrorless camera yet. It is perfect for the smaller Atomos V that was just announced that captures 4K via an HDMI port. And it says a lot about the future of mirrorless cameras, especially for Sony. I think the A7S3 and predicted that the A7S3 would offer 10-bit via an HDMI. And a lot of people thought I was crazy or didn't think Sony would offer it because it would eat into the FS5 and FS7 lineup, but I definitely see the A7S3 offering 10-bit, maybe even 4K60 via HDMI, um, simply because they make Nikon sensors and they're not going to let Nikon outdo what they are offering. And it could be the reason why the A7S has been pushed back just to give Nikon a little time to shine with their new cameras to appease their customer base and keep their customer base happy um, and not completely crush the competition knowing that Sony also makes money off selling them sensors. So I am pretty sure, almost 95, 99% sure that the new A7S 3 will offer 4k 10 bit via hdmi at what frame rate i'm not sure but i it would be safe to say that i would almost bet that it would record 10 bit internally at 4k 30 and offer 4k 60 via an, a recorder the on paper the nikons look great they offer time code via hdmi um they offer in log which i'm interested to see how great it works you know in real life um so they are giving you a lot in the form factor in their mirrorless cameras i am anxious to see i think this really puts the pressure on canon uh because they're going to be the odd man out they have a lot to catch up to with within a little time and i'm not i don't know i'm not a betting man but i wouldn't i don't know i'm gonna be honest with you i don't I haven't seen the innovation from Canon in years to make me feel like they can close the gap. Um, but right now is not the time to focus on DSLRs anymore. And this, the, the painting or the writing is definitely on the wall and they have to be smart about it. But I wanted to talk about, you know, the video side of the new Nikon cameras and, you know, Sony was able to give them something to be first at so that they can sell some cameras and sell some sensors and Sony can sit back and make their cut. But be sure to uh, keep your eyes peeled for the A7S III. It's going to be a monster based off what we have here. And uh, I just want to share that guys with you and tell me what you think about the 10-bit in-log. Tell me, you know, what do you expect from this camera? I haven't heard anything about dynamic range yet. Um, it's not a dual uh, native ISO, which I expect from the new A7S III. Um, but tell me what you guys think Nikon users. Are you guys happy with what was offered? You got something instantly that competes with the A7R uh, uh, and the A7. So tell me what you guys think in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys next video.